Good morning, everyone. It is, oh, what time is it? It's already 10. I got up, I got up about 9.30, couldn't sleep um, last night because the power went out. Yes, what's going on over here? What are you doing over here? <laughs> you gonna eat your bone? Yeah. Um, let me fix your ears. I know you don't care. I know you don't care about your ears. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back again. Well, maybe not. Maybe they'll fall forward. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, the power went out last night about, oh, I think it was at 11 o'clock. Oh, excuse me, guys. I think it was about 11 o'clock, and um, you probably noticed, I don't know if you've noticed in my bedroom, if I ever film in my bedroom, there's a fan. Well, there's a fan in my daughter's room, and there's a fan in my son's room. We all sleep with fans on um, for the white noise. Well, I use my sleep buds so I don't hear my husband snore, but um, when I was having to sleep in the grooming room at our last house because I didn't have those sleep buds, I had a fan in there too, and I slept in that room because my husband snores so bad. <laughs> um, uh, but now that I have the sleep buds, we can be in the same room together. But we all sleep with with a fan, and no one could sleep. <laughs> it was dead silent in the house. Every little noise, every time the dog would shake their heads, my husband would hear it. So he was up, so I was up. Um, I think the power came back on at... Four in the morning. Yeah, I don't know what was going on. Um, I got on the Swartz Creek page. No one knew of any accident. Like somebody hit a telephone pole or something and blew out a transformer. Um, but, yeah, so it was out till four in the morning. So, needless to say, didn't sleep good. And, um, oh, I'm really tired now. Um, and my house is a mess. I've got to pick up dog dishes. Put away dishes. I need to get a bigger, um, I have one of these, uh, drying mats, but I need like a giant size. <laughs> so, cause if my dishes get piled up, I need a bigger size. Right, Mozzie? Right? And I need to put your guys' collars back on, um, wash their faces yesterday. You may have seen a video a couple days back where I was brushing their faces on the bed and, um, Went to the apple orchard. Uh, well, this is the next day from that. Um, thought I'd film today. And I haven't put their collars back on. No. I haven't put your collars back on, have I? Got a couple extra beds for in here. Besides these, which I get a lot of questions about these beds. Uh, I purchased them uh, this past winter. I think it was in January of this year. Purchase these at Aldi. They are called uh, Pillow Chums. And I don't know if Kelly Toys makes them or not. I'm not sure. But if you Google Pillow Chums, um, I know some people have said they found them online. They're more expensive online. But um, I've never Googled them and checked. I have looked on Amazon and I've seen other styles. But I've never seen these... Uh, schnauzer looking uh pillow chums so that's what they're called <clears throat> excuse me for those who um have been asking where i got these i got them at aldi um i know some people a couple years ago found them at costco but i don't know if costco has had them back since so um yeah so i need to get my day going i was um doing videos last night i have a couple scheduled so that way i'm not getting behind i'm trying to stay ahead in my videos so i'm not rushing in one day getting a video out uploading it and getting it up at midnight <laughs> so that's what i was doing last night um with the couple <sighs> videos i had um recorded during my breaks and painting magnum why are you trying to act like a tough guy magnum why are you trying to act like a tough guy? Just because Marley wants to play. Yeah, so I ended up getting a couple other beds for out here. Because my dogs can't lay on the carpet, you know. They got to lay on a dog better in the chair. 
All right, guys, I'm going to go make myself some breakfast and uh, we'll be back. <laughs> okay, so I just got done um, doing my landmine duty. And I wanted to show you this tree here, how pretty it looks. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you because of the lighting. Let's see if I zoom in. Yeah, that shows it. Look how pretty red this maple is. It's beautiful. And that tree over there is turning a yellowy orange color. Yes, the trees are absolutely beautiful here in Michigan right now. And they're dropping their beautiful leaves all over the yard, um, which is making landmine duty a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've been having to blow the leaves and pick them up and bag them up, um, about once a week, um, over here on this side of the yard and then on that side of the yard from this tree, this one just kind of turns brown and they fall off, <laughs> but over there it gets really covered too. And of course my boys do their business alongside, um, <laughs> Uh, the fence usually they usually don't go in the middle where there aren't many leaves <laughs> so yes landmine duty is getting a little bit more difficult when these leaves cover the ground um you got to be very careful where you step um marley what are you eating are you just eating grass are you eating grass yeah he's just eating grass you just wanted to have a little bit of a a leafy part of your diet? <laughs> Look at this. What'd you do to that ball? What'd you do to that ball? Huh? Do we have to get a new one? See, whenever I get a new one, he likes his ball to be like this because he can um, grab it easier. <laughs> he can get a hold of it easier. It's just harder for me to kick. Yes. You're gonna eat some grass now too, Milo? Silly dogs. Yes, they are. Uh, I still gotta put their collars on them. Thank goodness they didn't have them on last night because like I was saying, whenever they shake, their, if you don't have a fan going and since their crates are in the bedroom and if they have their collars on, you can hear their tags. Even though they're, I took their rabies tags off of them and wrote in Sharpie each person's or each dog's um, name on their rabies tag. And I just have them in a uh, special spot case animal control ever knocks on my door um, to check for license. Um, they're all put put where I can find them because I was tired of them banging together when they'd shake their heads. So, but even with one name tag on, you can still hear that um, very clearly if you don't have a fan going at night when you're trying to sleep. <laughs> but I need to get them back on them. I mean, they're microchipped, but I still like to have a name tag on them. If God forbid some reason they ever got out of this yard. So I gotta get their collars back on. I've been procrastinating. I've been outside now for about a half hour. <laughs> and I really should be inside. Getting myself together and um, cleaning my house, but I don't want to. And it's funny because as I've gotten older, when I was younger, I wouldn't do anything until I was ready for the day and my house was cleaned. Um, when I worked, I would get up earlier to make sure my bed was made, to make sure the whole house was cleaned. I'd even vacuum before I went to work. Um, and now I could care less. I could care less, yes. It's more about enjoying the little things now that I'm older. Um, been having a clean house. <laughs> Not that my house is filth, but sometimes it gets pretty bad. <laughs> At least for me, um, it gets bad. Uh, so yeah, I just enjoy, I enjoy different things now instead of having my house looking like no one lived there. <laughs> All right, I better get going. I'm gonna kick this ball for a little bit more. Right, Magnum? Yes, Magnum's goose died. 
We were playing with his goose yesterday and it ripped and the and the stuffing started coming out so we had to throw it away into the poop can. So I've got to go to the store today and get him a new goose. He's kind of lost because whenever Miggy plays with his ball, he would go grab his goose and he would play tug of war. You want to get a new goose goose? You want a new goose goose? You want me to get you a new goose goose? You're not even going to look at me. You're upset. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, the burning bush. The burning bush is turning red too. Isn't it pretty? The one way down here in the end is pretty much completely red. Really pretty. Max, what are you doing over there? You ready to go in? Are you ready to go in? <laughs> yeah, they're really pretty. The ones out front are um, turning red too. It's my favorite time of the year, fall. I know that means winter's coming and snow, but I love fall. What do you guys want? What do you guys want? They're like, what do you got, Mom? <laughs> I have a Bronner's bag. And I totally forgot to share this with you guys when my last video, when I was sitting on the bed brushing their beards, I don't know if any of you guys noticed I have this sitting on the dog crate um, next to me because I wanted to share with you the ornaments I found because uh, I mentioned my daughter and I went to uh, Frankenmuth, Michigan and walked around. Well, of course I had to go into Bronner's because my husband, if you saw one of my last videos, my husband surprised me with some Schnauzer Christmas ornaments. If you haven't seen it, I will link it down below. Um, but he had told me the lady said that they were supposed to be getting um, one or two more in. So when my daughter and I were out there, we stopped into Bronner's so I could check. And I found a couple things I liked for my Schnauzer Christmas tree. So, and I totally forgot to share them with you guys. So let me get them out. One is not a Schnauzer ornament, but I thought it was cute. And I thought it looked cute on the Schnauzer tree. Okay. It says, Dear Santa, I've been a good dog this year. I thought it was cute. It's got a Christmas tree with doggy bones on it. So I got that one. And then I found this one. I don't know if I have this one or not. I can't remember if a subscriber sent me this one last year. I told my daughter I need to take, when I put my schnauzer tree up this year, I need to take uh, photos of all my schnauzer ornaments and put them in my Google Drive in a folder. So when I'm out and about, and if I happen to see an ornament, I can browse through it and see if I have it or not. So I'm not sure if I have this one or not. Just a black schnauzer. And it's got its tongue sticking out. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know if I have that one or not, but you know what? Doubles are fine. They're fine with me. <laughs> um, and then I got this one. This is one my husband said he was looking for because um, they had other dog breeds um, in this style and they didn't have the schnauzer and the lady wasn't sure why. And she said, we'll probably be getting some in. So I found this one too. A schnauzer sitting on a little bell. Isn't it cute? I don't have this one at all. Love it. So yeah, I just wanted to share. I, I totally forgot to share that with you in the last video. I was so excited to find them. And I just love walking around Bronner's anyways, because it's just so, it's like a magical Christmas place. <laughs> I don't know what those dogs are doing behind me. They're running around being crazy. So, all right. Just wanted to share those with you guys. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Got to get some stuff done. <laughs> They're just running around in circles, I think. Are you ready? Let me show them your new toy. Let me show them your new toy. So I was at Meyer um, yesterday, and they had all these um, rubber squeaky dog toys. Sorry about that, guys. My phone rang. Um, so, like, I, I don't know if I mentioned already or not. I can't remember what I just said because I've been on the phone for a minute. But they had a bunch of these animal dog toys and like this one's a dolphin and it's supposed to be a banana. They had a sheep that was shaped like a cauliflower. Um, they had a whale that was supposed to be an eggplant, a bunny that was a carrot, 
What else did they have? A bear that was a strawberry. They were the cutest little toys. But I'm gonna tell you, my boys, since I got this toy, love it. They this is the only toy they've been playing with. It's it's so funny. It's a thicker, like rubber toy. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but they love it. So I may go back and get more because you know, dogs can't have too many toys. No, they can't. Okay, so just wanted to um, share the ornaments since I forgot the other day. And um, I'm gonna say goodbye and we will see you in the next video. Bye.